Hello friends and welcome to my new channel for this new moon Capricorn new year 2022 report and I'm so glad that you found me here. I've decided to take my astrology from the Bend Health Guide channel and start a new channel for my Kamimi Healing Arts page which is Kamimi Healing Arts is my massage business. And I just want the Bend Health Guide page to be more about our healing health community and my own Kamimi Healing Arts page to be a place where I can do astrology, Reiki, massage, and Nine Star Key and Feng Shui and all of that. So thank you so much for joining me here. I love how every New Year's in January we find ourselves in this Capricorn sun with Capricorn new moon energy which is all about planning for the future something that Capricorns are so good at and for this new moon in Capricorn I just have to read the quote for chaos though because 2022 is going to be a different kind of year where we will experience a certain amount of chaos and I have this I Ching, the kanji for chaos, with this Chinese quote that says, where chaos is where great dreams begin. And before a great vision can become a reality, there may be some difficulties ahead. So before a person begins a great endeavor, they may just encounter chaos. And this is my mantra for 2022. I think that we are gonna all do some amazing things this year and we all may experience some chaos along the way, but chaos is the seed of creation. And I see 2022 as this year of rebirth where we have conceived a new way of being and now we are beginning this new path ahead and we may just meet some chaos along the way. So as we set our course of direction for this 2022 year in this cardinal earth sign of Capricorn we can be just like that sailor, setting off with a clear destination in mind. And a sailor will get out his maps and map point A where you're at now to that point B where you want to be at the end of this powerful 2022 year. And you would draw a parallel line from point A to point B with high hopes of just sailing straight across to that destination. And where we are now and where we want to be by the end of this year may just have some course corrections along the way because we have some wild winds coming in this 2022 year of transformation and so it's a good time right now with this Capricorn new moon to set your new moon intentions make your 2022 year goals and know that you may have to adapt because the wind may set your sails off course so this year will require more patience and persistence in reaching our goals than ever before and in the nine star key astrology that I also study, we are going into a five moist soil center year, which can be represented by the winds of change that are blowing. Some call this a hurricane year. And as I said in my last December report on the Bend Health Guide page, that December was sort of this window into what 2022 would look like because December was a month that was a five soil star year. And as you can see, we had these wicked tornadoes and massive windstorms. 
And that was just a window of what could come in 2022. And sure enough, in December, we saw the tornadoes in Kentucky. And I think 2022, we will see even more of these wild earth happenings as we move into this earth star. And we still have that Uranus and Taurus coming in even stronger in 2022 with those unexpected Earth events that we can't prepare for because they'll just come out of the blue and surprise us. And then add to that, we are moving into that Taurus, Scorpio, Moon's axis. And so Earth, Taurus is Earth, Scorpio is water. I see a lot of Earth and water events happening in 2022. So I'm thinking flash flooding, where we've had drought. Perhaps we will have so much rain that it just causes landslides and flash flooding. And of course, in the Nine Star Key, we're in that moist soil Earth Star. And when I think of moist soil, I'm just thinking we're going to get a lot of rain this year, which we desperately need here in the Pacific Northwest. But if it all comes too fast and furious, that's not good. So I think in 2022, the pendulum could really swing from the severe droughts we've been experiencing to this sort of flash flooding, too much of a good thing as the earth tries to come into an equilibrium and find balance for an imbalanced system that we're in. And the earth, no matter what happens in nature, the earth will survive it all. But the question is, will we? And so we are really seeing the effects of this climate change. And I think we will just see even more extreme earth events happening in 2022 with this incredible Earth star and Uranus and Taurus Earth sign and Scorpio Taurus transformation of Earth axis. Get ready for some really powerful Earth events to occur this year. And the Sabian symbol for this new moon in Capricorn at 12 degrees is an illustrated lecture on natural science reveals little known aspects of life recently being discovered for the first time. And so that's really interesting Sabian symbol as we enter 2022 of we're going into a whole new world and we may experience things that we've never seen. We've already been talking about historical storms, historical wildfires, what kind of historical, unprecedented, never before seen events in nature might occur in 2022. And again, I think it has that aspect of chaos with the Uranus coming in so strong. It's totally uncontrollable chaos. And the Sabian symbol also says, an ability to explore unfamiliar realms and discover new laws of nature underlying the complex process scientists are will be on an intellectual search for new solutions and new technology for our problems and i think in 2022 earth sciences will really come into focus and take us in new directions with new technology and brand new discoveries that might just be out of this world. And I can't wait to see what 2022 brings as far as solutions. I think we may just find some solutions coming, coming up in this year. And so you can just see with all this chaos that could come this year with all the earth aspects coming in so strong as our world is completely completely transformed and reborn this year. I do still think 2022 is going to be a good year. I've said it before, I'm still saying 2022 will be a good year, but you'll want to write out 
your new moon, your new year intentions really well this year. Really plan ahead and think things through. And you'll want clear, concise, manageable goals this year because the winds of change can throw you off course and you may have to go back and reevaluate, reconsider what your goals were a few times this year as the winds of change will just be rocking our boats and we might have to change course direction and we might not look it might not look the same as we're taking the, our path towards our goals. There might be a lot of twists and turns as the winds of change come through. So it'll be wise with this new moon Capricorn and this whole new year to just keep returning to center when you get thrown off course by the rough seas and the winds and remember your why. Why are you doing this? Why are you aiming towards that goal? What is your purpose? And know your trajectory. And you still might have to reroute your course to get there again and again and again this year. So just be patient and persistent. And the first aspect that will take us off our course in 2022 will be that Mercury in retrograde. Mercury is going to retrograde from Aquarius all the way back to Capricorn. And this will be happening on January 14th through the 22nd. Mercury and Aquarius will especially affect those fixed signs. So Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio, get ready for some chaos for sure. And I am going to do a whole separate video about Mercury retrograde because it is the number one question everybody asks me about all the time what is mercury retrograde and how do i deal with it and so i'm just going to do a whole separate video on mercury retrograde make sure that you like subscribe and hit the bell notification down below so you can stay up to date when i release that mercury retrograde and of course we also have venus which has been retrograde in capricorn now and it's happening all the way through january 29th and this is really affecting our love relationships right now. And so many people I know are just re-evaluating what it is that they want in their love life and their love relationships right now. And if you're having relationship insecurities or struggles or you're just feeling unsure, just give it some time. Before you throw away any relationship, wait until February when this Venus retrograde is over. This Venus retrograde can bring up a lot of doubts in relationships. And so you might feel differently when Venus goes direct, stations direct again on January 29th. And this can be um, a really transformative time during this retrograde if you wanted to use it for relationship counseling to go into counseling with your partner and really figure out how to strengthen your relationship, how to re-evaluate what you both want and how your needs can be better met. Or just to figure out, um, even if you're single, what it is you want from a relationship and doing some real soul searching about what it is you desire in love before you find your next partner Make a list of your relationship priorities so that when the universe gives you this new love, it comes with all the things you wanted and asked for. And whenever I start a new year, I love to get out my Law of Attraction planner and just look at all the astrology aspects that will be most affecting me even the retrogrades or different trines or sextiles, everything. I go through my whole chart and just look at every aspect that will be affecting me. And I put those in my calendar for the year so that I know when it's time to really make a move or launch something 
or start a new project and when it's time to pull back maybe in a retrograde I will take time out to rest and reevaluate or just you know be more calm not trying to push things when it's retrograde and I know it's not gonna happen and so I highly recommend getting your astrology chart read if you don't know how to read your own astrology chart you can always hire me to do your full astrology chart for the year the Western chart and I can let you know what aspects to look out for as the year goes by and my website is Kamimi Healing Arts I'll put it in the link in the comments down below but as much as you can know about your astrology you can really use it for your business for your love life for manifesting and when to strike when the iron's hot because you have a really good Jupiter sextile or something and when to pull back because Mercury is in retrograde in your sign and another aspect that is affecting this new moon is Jupiter that just entered Pisces on December 28th where Jupiter will stay until May 10th of 2022 and Pisces was once Jupiter's original ruling sign before it became Sagittarius in astrology so Jupiter is much more at home in the sign of Pisces much more comfortable in his old home than he has been in Capricorn or Aquarius where Jupiter feels very stifled and so our money outlook will just feel so much more hopeful as we move into 2022 maybe you're already feeling that there's a much more lucky aspect to how we will make money and then Jupiter will conjunct Neptune on April 12th 2022 bringing some new otherworldly creativity to how we manifest our money and make our money and I'm really looking forward to this Jupiter Neptune conjunction that's a very rare conjunction that I can't remember the last time we had that but so we are coming into these new ways of making money our money is really being transformed in 2022 in ways I can't even predict because it's so new and so otherworldly but it is optimistic with Jupiter and Pisces you can know that it will be an optimistic change for the better in how we work with our money and this Jupiter in Pisces time is truly a time to manifest by raising your energetic vibration and just allowing things to come to you now instead of feeling like you have to go out and just work so hard for everything that was Jupiter and Capricorn the last year we've been Jupiter Capricorn and Aquarius we just had to work so hard for the money and then people didn't want to work so hard and so many people quit their jobs and there was just a lot of like hard work and not wanting to do hard work but this Jupiter and Pisces it's a much more effortless making money with ease and grace just breathe that in for a moment and it feels so refreshing it's gonna be so much better to just let things come to you and have it be with ease and grace with Jupiter in Pisces and if you can dream up a new life you can really manifest it in 2022 and find creative ways of doing things completely innovative new ways of doing things instead of feeling like you have to figure it all out you can just dream ask your dreams to guide you or get out in nature and meditate on the solutions and the old way last year with Jupiter and Capricorn it was just so heavy heavy stress around money and now we are coming into Pisces we are just lightening up about our financial situation and we can channel ideas now and really allow source to work through us and manifest all that you desire by using a connection to source 
instead of working so hard and grinding away at your goals, we can just connect to source and just allow our goals to be manifested. And if we can focus on our energetic vibration instead of the piles of work on our desk, we can have a true awakening to a higher level of success in 2022. And it will take us so much further than that Saturn Capricorn struggle. And hard work that we had last year is now going to be exchanged for heart-centered work. Getting into the heart, finding the things you love to do, connecting with your heart source energy to create and manifest beauty and art and you will be making so much more money and prospering so much greater when you are connected to the heart instead of connected to that Capricorn struggle. And connecting in with this love energy will just bring you so much more abundance in 2022 than all those hours of heavy lifting you did in 2021. And this is a major shift of consciousness for the whole world. Everybody will be shifting into this new way of coming from the heart center. In 2022, there will be a major shift in consciousness collectively, the whole world. It will feel a little bit like somebody has slipped something in your drink. It's like, we're not in Kansas anymore. This feels really different in 2022 than 2021. And you may even feel a little out of body with this profound shift that we're moving into with this rebirth transformation, this Taurus Scorpio rebirth transformation. And I've been seeing a lot of clients who are already telling me they're feeling out of body, they're not rooted. So you'll really want to spend that time out in nature, putting your feet in the earth to earth and ground and just taking deep belly breaths just to bring yourself back to your body and being centered. Again, I'm going to say this over and over in 2022. It is time to come to center as we make this huge shift. You'll want to stay rooted. As I've talked about, this North Node in Taurus and North Node Scorpio is going to be giving us this intense cycle of death, transformation, rebirth for all of 2022. For, and it will be very powerful wherever in your chart you have Taurus and Scorpio and again affecting all the fixed signs once again. Fixed signs are going to be in an intense transformation. And if you happen to have North Node Taurus or North Node Scorpio, you will be on a special soul assignment for 2022. And this is where fate will take you on a soul's journey. And it will be most likely out of your control. Just something happens and you have to go here or do that. And I think of the North Node returns like being stationed in the military. You will be given a task that you must complete for your soul's growth. And there is simply no getting out of this North Node return soul mission. I had my North Node return about seven years ago and I know what it's like and life just takes you on a journey and there's no getting out of it but you will come out of it with this huge soul lesson and so um, if you know that you are North Node Taurus North Node Scorpio I'd love to know just make a comment down below and be sure to subscribe because I will be doing a whole reading on the North Node Taurus Scorpio axis that will be affecting us with four eclipses in 2022. And I'll be there with you all through 2022 to let you know about the eclipses before they happen so you can plan accordingly. But this will really especially affect anyone 
with aspects in Taurus and Scorpio. And then in the nine star key, we will be in that five center soil star. And I am going to be doing my full nine star key readings for all the nine stars, probably sometime in the next two weeks. And they will post here. So again, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you hear my nine star key readings. And that's a whole nother way to plan for your 2022, knowing where your star is. We will all be going home to our own element star as we're in this five center star in 2022. And you can watch my whole report about it. But in the meantime, just until January 4th, we are currently in a four wood star month, which is known as the tree that bends in the wind, which is funny because it's so windy here today. And this would be like a willow tree that knows to bend in the wind and not struggle or fight against the wind. And so for this month, and maybe you're feeling it over the Christmas holiday even, is that you just have to adapt and you have to go with the flow and be like a leaf on the wind and just go wherever you need to go. You're probably really feeling this if you're stuck in holiday traffic this over this course of December going into January 4th. And um, then of course, 2022 will be that five moist soil earth star year. And I'll talk more about that later. And the I Ching for this new moon in Capricorn is number 46, pushing upward. And this is a time for gradual advancement, represented by a sprout that pushes upward towards the earth by lifting heavy soil to grow towards the light. And there may be obstacles as this sprout pushes upward, such as rocks or weeds that can block progress. But the key is to keep moving upward towards the sunlight, going around the obstacles. So there could be a period of promotion or prosperity for you if you succeed in sprouting forth. A wise person in harmony with fate is sensitive to the energy of their surroundings, but also determined to complete a task at hand. So make a sincere effort to apply a determined effort against forces of inertia by bending around the obstacles that arise and good fortune surely will follow. Remain flexible as you continue to grow and advance further. Willpower and self-control are necessary to manage your new sprouted growth properly. But an inner passion and enthusiasm for life is what will fuel your upward motion for the long run. Be like the tree that draws power from its roots. Stay centered and grounded this month. I wish you all the best new moon Capricorn as you set your intentions for a new path ahead in 2022. May you receive all that you desire this year.